Hi everyone, my name is Steph and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to review Wurtu, The Wombat Who Fell in Love with the Sky by Talisa Lasara and illustrated by Dylan Finney. This was a book that was sent to me by Hachette for review, so thank you very much to them. It is a gorgeous story that seems like a very classical Australian children's middle fiction story in the lines of something like Blinky Bill, which is what I grew up with. And if you are of my generation, I don't know if this is going to focus very well, but if you look at these illustrations, they remind me very much of Blinky Bill. But it is also very much its own thing. This is the story of Wurtu, who is a wombat who lives on Kangaroo Island, and he lives in his burrow, and he lives kind of a solitary life, but he is in love with the sky. Then one day he decides he needs to go to the mainland so that he can propose to the sky. Before he goes on this journey, he saves a koala from a bushfire, and this koala is cooler, and she becomes his friend. And at first she can't believe that he wants to marry this guy. She thinks it's hilarious. But she also agrees to be his companion as he travels on the way to the mainland to propose to the sky. And along the way, the two of them meet a variety of Australian animals in various places. Some of them are quite intimidating animals and these animals help them on their way. There's magic and adventure, but it's also bushfire season. And so Wurtu and Kula find themselves in some pretty dangerous and precarious situations because bushfires in Australia are absolutely no joke. And this journey forces them to look at what it means to be a friend, to face their fears, to have courage and to be brave in the face of things that scare them. And it brings them closer together. And it's just a gorgeous, little story. The other thing that I like about this book is that it's also not very long. It's about 180 pages long, which is probably a good length for a middle grade story. And it is fast paced. It has interesting characters and an interesting landscape. I don't think I've read a book set on Kangaroo Island before, so that was really nice. And it also has plenty of illustrations throughout the book as well, which makes it a really enjoyable experience because you get little scenes drawn out for you. So thank you very much to Hachette for sending this to me. I had a great time reading it and I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and the author and illustrator below. In the comments I would love to know if you have read the book or if you're planning on picking it up or if you have a recommendation for a similar style of middle fiction title. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave any kind of sky emoji. There's plenty of options if you type in sky when you search for an emoji so choose your favorite one and leave that down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.